here, uh, what I'm putting together, the core cot. See, it sets up off the ground, and that way the dog stays nice and cool. Also, goods for in the house. Older dogs with joint problems. These are the little legs that come with it and the screws. Come with screws and the legs and a wrench. There's, you don't need to dig out your tools to put this together. It all comes in the kit. Pretty simple to put together. One note on that. When I first received this, I was putting it together, which, you know, it's pretty obvious how it goes. The long poles go in the sleeves, put the legs on. <laughs> well, when the kit came, I was going to do just that. And this is the other mesh cot lining that I got with it. My problem was the poles would not fit in the sleeves. So I started looking at the material sewn and in spots they had sewed it too close and so these sleeves were too small for the poles. So I looked at the directions and there was a phone number for <coughs> excuse me, I've got a cold hugs petproducts.com and so I gave them a call. Of course it was they were closed, but they're answering service answered and <laughs> I left a message and they called me right away the next morning and asked, you know, what they could do for me. And I explained that the poles wouldn't fit in the cot. I couldn't get them to go in. My husband couldn't get them to go in. And I do believe it was, you know, the, the scene was just sewn too close, not allowing the poles to go in. They were so nice on the phone, so helpful. Right away, mailed me a new... Um, lining and as you can see it's much better it went together and I'm going to finish putting this together and come back and let you see the finished product and tell you how it works for us okay so we'll see you in a little bit okay so I'm putting the legs on the cool pot and it's pretty simple. Comes with bolts. I said screws earlier, but it's bolts and a wrench. And basically, you just put the two ends of the poles together like this. You find you match up the holes, put your bolt in, and you could tighten it up with the little wrench that they've supplied. Hi. Okay. I have got the dog cot all together now and when you're putting it together some tips is to lay it on the floor flat when you're screwing the legs on because you're going to have to and don't screw these tight to begin with just just get the bolt in enough uh, to hold the pole to the leg don't tighten it yet because you're going to have to maneuver these poles around to get this leg on Okay, so lay it on the floor and don't tighten it until you got all the bolts at least started. All right, so it went together. I did it myself, so you know it's got to be easy. I'm not the handiest person there is. And it is sturdy. It's lightweight, um, which because I'm going to be using this outside this summer under my apple tree, to try to save my grass where the dog has dug. So she digs because uh, she's trying to get somewhere cool to lay. She can lay on this cot. It's got a six inch clearance from the ground to the top of the cot. So the air can go underneath. This is going to keep her cool. I'm going to set this right under the apple tree after I fix the hole and set it right there and let the grass grow, hopefully. This, they, they sell two sizes of these cots, medium and large. Medium holds up to 100 pounds, and uh, this one uh, measures 37 inches by, let me see, what did I write? 31 inches. Okay, 31 inches by 30, 
6 inches. Okay, so the large, which is this one, holds up to a 150-pound dog. Uh, should I tell my weight? No. But I can tell you I'm not over the limit. So I'm going to test this myself. <laughs> and you won't be able to see it because the camera is too high. But I am going to uh, get on this and test it and see if it collapses. I don't know what's going to happen, but we don't want to add any weight to it. So I'll take that off. Okay. It's flat on the ground. Get on. It's like a mini trampoline is what it looks like. Anyway. Woo! It's got some give to it. It's got a little bounce. It's holding up. There's uh, no sign of collapsing. So it passed my test. Will it pass the dog's test? I'm sure it will. The thing is, as Lila has never slept in a bed, she has slept with my son forever until he went to college. So she's really going to have to get used to laying on this. And you introduce new products slowly to pets. They have to become accustomed to them. But I'm sure it's going to work great for us. What I like about this is that you can stake it to the ground. We do have high wind in Wyoming. So there's holes in the legs, in the bottom, and you could just get little tent stakes or whatever and stake it outside. Uh, keep in mind, this can be used inside too. It's a nice, um, comfortable bed for your dog. It is extremely sturdy. This, this is metal. You know, it's not PVC or plastic. It's metal. It's bolted in. It's bolted in tightly. Well built. Once you get it together, I built it myself. Yay! But once you get it together, it's well built. It's a great product. They sell for $39.99 on HugsPetProducts.com.